the human genome, the blueprint of our species. A three billion letter long genetic code with all the instructions to make you or me. Or is it? The official sequence published in 2001 as the Human Genome Project was largely based on a man of white European descent, known only as RP11, who lived in Buffalo, New York. It's a bias that matters because we're now entering a new era of genetic medicine and people of different ancestries could miss out. 99.9% .9 of the human genome is identical across the population. It binds us together as a species. But the other 0.1% contains very in the genetic code that reflects our ancestry. Now, in a major undertaking, scientists have published the first pan genome. It's a genetic manual based not on just one person, but on 47 individuals of different heritage, a first step to reflecting diversity across the population. It includes 119 million new variations in the genetic code and more than 1,100 repeated sections of DNA that contain genes. In effect, they're like slightly different translations of a book that's been written in another language. As scientists say, a better understanding of more diverse DNA code should stop some groups missing out on genetic advances. Could be that somebody is sick and we will be blind to the DNA difference that is making them sick. Or it could be because I believe that genomics will become relevant even for people as part of their routine medical care to keep them healthy, that we will be blind to a DNA difference that they have that might put them at risk for a certain condition. Take one example, the gene for lipoprotein A, a fatty molecule in the blood. Variations in that gene are responsible for the biggest genetic risk for heart disease in African Americans. But only as a result of the pan genome has that risk been understood. And it could lead to treatments that target the gene and are more clinically effective. Two decades on from the first sequence of the human genome, the Book of Life has been given a long overdue rewrite so we can all benefit from the revolution in genetic medicine.